So, you want to go to Mars? Well, great! First up, how are we going to get there? Nice and simple to start out with, right? Well, we're just going to need a big rocket, kind of like the one we used to get to the moon 45 years ago. But here's the first problem. It's tempting to think that going to Mars is just like going to the moon, except, well, bigger. That's kind of true when it comes to the rockets themselves, because all the probes NASA has sent into the solar system have made us really good at rockets. Even then, today's rockets aren't as efficient as we want them to be. Now, a robot doesn't care if it takes six months or nine to get to Mars, but humans would, especially when they have a tight schedule to keep. Which takes me to my next question, when are we gonna go? The moon orbits the Earth, which means it's always the same, relatively short distance away from us. But the Earth and Mars both orbit the sun, and it takes Mars two years to complete a single revolution. That means the planets are only aligned for a launch window about every two years and two months. The next one is in April and May 2018. So we need to wait for a launch window to open, reach Mars in about six months, and then wait for a return window to open before heading back. That's roughly a two-year round trip, and there's no easy way for the astronauts to get home if something goes wrong. But hey, what could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. Uh, Houston, we've had 